Zumi's prayers waiting for our arrival. A chatter of geese fills the air. They too are welcoming the noon appearance of the sun through a cold mist. Rain is to come in two days. The people are glad. The people are easily pleased by small surprises out of their control. The people are ignorant of their larger fortune. The bequest of a kingdom which lasts forever and is full of the greatest treasures of being never before imagined. We rejoice in our contemporary wisdom. Together in time are our supposed wisdom and the death of all things. Set of the gates of Hades, the strongest structure conceivable, from which no one has ever succeeded in escaping, nor will. Yet the people of God on earth are filled with unconquerable life, infused into us by your spirit. This through your resurrection, that death will be wholly conquered by the church. We are not merely a holy fellowship combating evil and worshiping true God, but stands in the sign of consummation. It is a forever thing. It is of the eschatological world, for that world is not the world of things aimed at, but of things attained unto. The world of the ultimate destiny of the soul and of humankind. There we will concretely know the life of the Father, Son, Spirit, who has in all time waited for our arrival. There are and were many judgments in the world, not recognized by us. But the final crisis is not an ordinary upheaval. It is not survivable. When the prophets Isaiah, Hosea, and others began to detail events, a vision of your glory so overcame them that an immediacy presented itself, which was not there. The vision hastened in their eye, yet has remained for nearly 30 centuries unfulfilled. The Lord asked of them, shall I ransom them from the power of the grave, redeem them from death? You yourself answer, O death, where are thy plagues? O grave, where thy destruction? Repentance shall be hid from my eyes. This turning away was done unto the nation Israel. But to us, Paul answers, O death, where is thy sting? We are given victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. No external worship can buy back your favor. Your free, forgiving love is the sole source of salvation. Can such a great thing be requested, demanded, expected? No, fixed in eternity are the events, outcomes, and recipients of your judgments. We have sometimes spoken freely of the end of the world without understanding its import. All former judgments were of purification. This is of finality. You're everywhere present to the world and to us individually. You are represented as living in heaven, which is your throne, and upon the earth your footstool. The reach of your power is absolutely unlimited by space or time. Your own divine mode of existence is outside of all things. You are said to inhabit eternity, altogether above time, titled Father for Eternity, also Father of Eternity, an even higher flight into the realm of the transcendental. Rather than to fix explanations for your presence in time and space, we shall accept that it all means your unchanging faithfulness to us and to all aspects of the universe. Amen.